Hello and welcome back everyone. For quite some time now I've been seeing a lot of discussions flying around talking about My Hero Academia and if there will be a time skip in the series. By time skip that means at least two to three years in my book because the series does progress quite quickly from time to time so one year wouldn't really be that significant in case of My Hero Academia. So what do I think on the matter? Are we going to be witnessing a time skip at some point within the series of My Hero Academia? Well, I could see it happening but I don't really think it's gonna be the case, at least not anytime soon because, well, as we know they're in the UA Academy right now. I think they're still in the first year in the second term or whatever and basically I think Horikoshi wants to progress the story in such a way that you know they're gonna go through the three years of UA as the series go on I don't think he's gonna just jump ahead of that I don't think he's gonna skip those two years that remain I think it's definitely going to be we're definitely going to be seeing all of those three years in the series and then maybe after that we might be seeing a time skip I'm not so sure about that but I could see that happening but yeah not anytime soon because of that um, well because of what I just said like I don't think he's gonna skip those two years that remain in the UA Academy because we could see a lot of things um, in terms of you know character development and development of their quirks and whatever during those years especially given what we've seen from Tamaki Togada and that girl I don't remember her name but the top three you know they're in the third year and they're way ahead of you know class 1a and probably 1b as well so I don't really see you know Horikoshi skipping that because we want to see them progress to that level slowly we don't really want to just jump to that and then see flashbacks of it at least that's my take on it maybe everyone won't agree on that but yeah that's kind of what I'm leaning towards see so yeah, a part of me says no I don't think there's going to be a time skip or rather I don't think it's gonna be anytime soon but that's not to say it can't happen, it's still very possible, like, there's nothing physically stopping Horikoshi from doing this, I just don't personally believe that he wants to do that, because of what I just said, like, it makes no sense for him to skip those years, because it seems like these years are like what the series is going to revolve around, at least quite heavily, maybe not the entirety of the story, but a big part of the story is going to revolve around those, so yeah, I don't really see it. What are the downsides with a time skip in general? Well, as I kind of said I do prefer to see these steps happening I don't really want you know a time skip and then see flashbacks like flashback if the flashback yes to you know catch up on what's actually happened during those years that the time skip covered I guess and well I guess that's the only real downside with it like we don't really get to see things as they happen we have to see them after the fact and well some people may think that's a good idea but I personally I don't really like that so what can the series benefit from a time skip well we can of course jump ahead and get you know to see how strong they've become after a time skip but yeah that's only really going to be a good thing if they progress these three years of UA first and then have a time skip at some point afterwards like after they've gotten into the real world and you know become pro heroes or whatever or sidekicks I guess whatever the next step after UA is you know after that I could see them having some sort of time skip I guess maybe like I said two to three years or maybe even five years at best I don't think it's gonna be much more than that I don't think Horikoshi is going to make a too big of a time skip because he wants us to kind of follow the story as it goes on especially given what we've been seeing in the anime well as we know in the intro of each episode of the anime of season two we do have this part where Izuku is telling us how that's the story of how he became the greatest hero and he does still look relatively young in that shot and we do know that Horikoshi is heavily involved with the anime production so I don't think it's going to look much different at the end of the series that's why I don't think you know that is going to be a massive time skip that makes him an adult or whatever he's still going to be relatively young when the series ends but probably not you know the same age he's probably gonna be like a few years older but not an all-out adult I don't think well I'll end off the video here let me know what you think down below in the comments what do you think of a time skip within my hero academia and as always if you did please like this video if you enjoyed and subscribe if you're new to my channel this has been your favorite host perm and i'll see you soon